All right, it's time for the late, great Warren Zevon's Werewolves of London. It was this song combined with Sweet Home Alabama, which gave you Kid Rock's All Summer Long. Okay, so the two songs combined together, and Kid Rock has a hit by uh, ripping off both of them. Okay, so it's a mosh. I know everybody, it's a mosh, or whatever. Um, it's stealing. Uh, <laughs> this song, three chords, all the way through, just like... Um, Sweet Home Alabama actually has more chords, but this song, three chords all the way through, D, C, and G. But the piano is what gives it its groove. So we have to grab a groove, code. so Stella, get your groove back, okay? So instead of just D, G, C, G, D, C, G, it does this all the way through, D, C, G does not change ever so this is the easiest one on here but you know me we have to add some flavor flav to this thing somebody get out your big clock and hang your head flavor flav on here tell you what time it is okay i'll just uh heck i'll just grab me a dusty old dvd and hang it from there put it on the chain <laughs> okay anyway so enough play time for me um to simulate the piano and just to let people know what song this is from the d chord yeah, we already got it. Uh, pinky, we're going to grab up onto the 4th fret on your G string. Okay. So you're trying to concentrate on picking your D and G strings to make them really pronounced. The other strings that you hit are just a bonus out of pure luck that you hit them. Okay. Then. The next one's a little difficult. You got a C chord, but you gotta simply move down your middle finger one string. So it's normally on the D string, move it down to the G string. So bring it down, hit your G string and your B string together. You can pull off of it as you bring your chord back. So your first one, D, then Okay, so you're trying to actually hit, you can hit all three strings, I guess, your D, B, and your G um, during the course of this C thing, but you're trying to mainly hit that G string, so you hear that, then your G, okay, which you have to do the whole G chord again, whole G chord means four fingers on there, once again, please people, every time you play a G chord, use all four fingers. 3rd fret, low E, 2nd fret on your A, 3rd fret on your B string, yes, always play 3rd fret on your B and 3rd fret on your E. Play a full G chord. Um, people have been teaching you wrong for years, okay? So this just sounds way better, and it is actually just a better chord. So people have been teaching you the crappy way through their Mel Bay and Hal Leonard books. Don't pay attention to that garbage. This is the real way to play. Um, so we have, say, okay, okay, watch my strumming hand too, okay, and they're all down strokes. If you want to, um, you can fake through it by taking your C chord and just move down the two fingers. Okay, just like you're doing the G, but do the two fingers down on the C chord. So you can go, and it will still be passable, okay? But I'm just trying to get you to get that piano sound in there so people will know what song it is. So you're not just playing D, C, G, and it could be one of 30 songs. So you gotta separate it by doing a You can even play it with one finger, which sounds nice. So D, start with your finger, middle finger on the second fret of your G string, and just do it that way. Then go to your G, makes it nice and clean. You don't have to worry about other strings in the way.
okay? So that's it, all the way through the entire song, okay? So, um, there is nothing else to do. So I will let this one just simply play, okay? So there's nothing else I have to tell you in this song. So there will not be a bunch of me rattling out the chords. Uh, there's no use for it, okay? So it's DCG, but with that in there when you need it, okay? So I'm just going to crank it up and give you the jam track. You don't need to know any more than this. It's really that easy. So the simplest song on here, and uh, away we go. Like I told you, nothing but that, 100% all the way through. Any way you want to play it, but that's the way it goes all the way through. Nothing changes ever. So Warren Zevon, Werewolves of London, sometimes simpler is, uh, what do they say, less is more. So, uh, totally proven there, that song will be remembered forever. And it's just that simple. So, there you go, take it, run with it, enjoy, and remember, don't just go. It could be anything, put the piano part in. Uh, people will know what it is right away, okay? So, enjoy that one. <laughs> 